everybody. <clears throat> we are talking about phonics today, and we are going to go over Tuesday's work. That was yesterday's work. And then I'll show you Wednesday's work. So yesterday you were rereading the passage, the Fifth Avenue issue, and you were looking for words that were spelled with the U-E long U spelling pattern. So when you see U-E, it says U. U. That would be a long U. And we're supposed to underline words that have this spelling pattern and have the sound that says U. So I'm going to read out loud. The Fifth Avenue, oh look, U-E, Avenue, Issue, U-E. The Fifth Avenue Issue. Both of those words have the long U sound, and it is spelled U-E. Here we go. The rumors were all true. Look, that one has U. Every human walking on Fifth Avenue that day had been turned into statues. So far, so good. Their tissues were transformed into cement. Tissues has the U-E. What could they do? <clears throat> the only one who could save them was Sue. Come on, Sue. Sue has a U-E and it says ooh. It says you, Sue. Sue had a magic cube that produced, no, nope, that's U consonant E, clues, that's U E, to help her solve issues no matter how huge, no, nope, that's U consonant E, to get clues, oh, there's a U E, from the magic cube, Sue had to play a special tune and wait a minute or two. Sometimes the clues were confusing, but Sue knew how to interpret them, no matter how unusual they were. Nope, that one's just a U. This time, the future, few, I hear you, but that's just a U, of humankind was in her hands. She had to do something to reduce, nope, that's you, consonant E, the confusion, nope, that's just you, and the population, and save the people on Fifth Avenue. Oh, that's you, E. Sue followed the clue given by the cube. She rode a cute mule down the avenue, dabbed each statue with a prune, oh, with prune juice, and dried them with a tissue. Soon the statues were all human again. You could hear all the sounds coming from Fifth Avenue. It was music to my ears. We will never know why that cruel U E spell was cast, or even if the story is true, but I sure would believe it. Do you? Okay. So I have underlined all of the U E words that I saw. Now I need to put them in my boxes. But there's only eight boxes here today. I'm hoping you noticed that it was a smaller number. So I'm going to write in my words. Oh, that's clues. Oh, cruel. Okay, so I have written all eight words in. On number, th oh, on number three, you're doing alphabetical order. And again, guys, y'all are doing awesome on alphabetical order, so keep up the good work there. But then down here, it says choose a word from the chart above, that's this chart, and write a sentence, underline the word. So, choose one of these words, write the sentence, and underline it. Most of us did this. For those that skipped number two, make sure you're looking at your numbers. Sometimes things change on your work. Okay? So, good sentences for those of you that completed that one. That was yesterday's. Here we go with today's work. Today is Wednesday. <clears throat> 
I wanted you to write sentences today using your long U spelling patterns. So I've chosen words for you that I'd like for you to please use. For the long U spelled with just a U, you have the word human. And for the long U spelled U consonant E, you have the word clue. So you need to put those two words in the same sentence right here. For U-E, oh, sorry, I put the wrong word. Ignore that one. Clue goes here. I'm sorry. I apologize. Nope. I'm doing it again. Oh, my goodness, friends. I'm having an issue today. Oh, look. Issue has the U-E spelling pattern. Give me just one second. I'll make sure I have the right words. Okay, let's try this one more time. So, today's work. You are using the long U spelled U for the word human. And then the long U spelled um, U consonant E. And the word is... Um, cube. You need to have somehow fit the word human and cube in the same sentence. Hmm. And then on the second one, you're using the long U spelled U-E for clue. And the long U spelled U is going to be confusing. Okay, so those are the two sentences that you need to write. And then you have your word box words. You have the word unu or sorry, the word usual, glue, music, cruel, cube, truth, huge, mule, sue, and reduce. Those are the words that you need to match up to their um, meaning. So that's what you're doing today in phonics. I'm sorry about the mix up up there. Uh, if you wanted to switch this one out, I'll let you do two different ones. You pick which one you want, cube or huge. Both work for me. All right, so which one can you make into a sentence with the word human? Enjoy your phonics today. Make sure that you're really looking at those spelling patterns for the long U sound. You have three of them that you're using today. You have U, U consonant E, and U E. Those are your three spelling patterns for the long U sound.